very good day to you. It's just so good to be with you on the program. We are standing on the mountain. And there is a huge one right behind me. It's called the Blinkwater, the Karkloof, the Seven Oaks area. This is a beautiful part of the world. It's in the Natal Midlands. Shalom Farm is just over that way, a couple of kilometers. This huge flay, this wetland, is the start of the Voti River, which discharges into the Indian Ocean at a place called Stanga, about an hour and a half drive south. I want to speak to you today about good works. Are you doing any good works? Are you looking after a soup kitchen? Are you looking after the poor, the hungry? Are you helping the widows and the orphans? Wonderful. Are you teaching people about Jesus? Fantastic. But I want to tell you folks, good works will never get you to heaven. You will only get to heaven by faith. Now, if you look at Galatians, don't look at me like that. <laughs> I've worked for 40 years for Jesus. It's not going to get me to heaven. The only thing that will get me to heaven is grace through faith. And that not of myself, for it was a gift from God. Galatians chapter 6 and verses 14 and 15. Paul says, but God forbid that I should glory except in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom the world has been crucified to me and I to the world. You see, the world had no more hold on Paul the Apostle. He had died to self. Remember Galatians chapter 2, verse 20? We know that, you and me. It's one of our favorite scripture verses, isn't it? I have been crucified to Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. The life I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave his life for me. Paul says in verse 15, For in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision nor uncircumcision avails anything but a new creation. In other words, whether we are circumcised, as the Jews are, or whether we are uncircumcised, as the Gentiles are, makes no difference to eternal life. So if you're trying to earn your way to heaven by good works, you will never ever get there. Martin Luther, John Wesley, these giants, they tried everything to put the flesh down to humble themselves, to be holy men. They failed miserably until they found a small little scripture in the book of Romans chapter 1 verse 17. It says, and the just, the righteous, shall live by faith. Now, my dear friend, you're sitting there and you're saying to me, but Angus, how do we get that kind of faith? Well, if we look at Romans chapter 10 verse 17, the Bible says, faith comes by hearing, and hear him by the word of God. You get faith by spending time in the word of God. No other way. Spend time with Jesus every day. Of course we do good works. Because of the love of Christ in us. Compels us to do good works. Right? We feed that. There's a little school right behind, right behind the camera. It's called Hale Lesan School. I'm the manager of that school. God's got a sense of humor. <laughs> because I haven't got much education. I've been managing that school for over 20 years. I love that school. But that's not going to get me to heaven. What's going to get me to heaven is acknowledging with my mouth Jesus Christ and believing in my heart that he's been raised from the dead. That's what's going to get me to heaven. Romans chapter 10 and verse 9. God bless you. Until we meet again, goodbye. We trust that you have been blessed by today's message. For more information, please visit angusbucken.com.